I'm the old bat. And that's the old bug. Hi, everyone. Back for another episode of the old bat and the old bug. So uh, this is going to be one of those Bob Ross tributes. <laughs> um, he said something to the effect of there are no mistakes just happy accidents so that's what we have here happy accident let me show you what i'm talking about one more thing i forgot to mention i'm i'm sorry i haven't been out here doing this i haven't posted for about a month i think and that's because i was helping my mother who's 84 years old move from one senior facility to another so that entailed packing her up moving her over there unpacking her we hired movers for the heavy stuff and helping her navigate the new place she has a really bad memory problems so you know you have to reteach her how to use an elevator and things like that so that's what i've been doing for the past month is helping my mom but i'm back in the saddle and here we go one more thing I'm really excited that people are subscribing so thank you so much for subscribing to the channel i am just thrilled people are enjoying these videos because i love doing it it's so much fun even through all the mistakes that turn out to be happy accidents hopefully Okay, so you can see down here by that thing, I'm just trying to get rid of all that seam sealer. It's hard to get there because there's this bracket right here. But I don't care about what's up here. I just care about what's on the on the um, heater channel. So, but I think I can still figure out where the, sh the uh, spot welds are. So you can see there's one there and there and there and there and there and then around here i just cleared away where the weld is so i'll be cutting right there because this is one piece here so i don't want to take anything away from that one and then over here same deal i'll cut it right there and of course take the screw out so that is what i think has to happen on the inside I'm sure there'll be other spots, so when I come across those, I'll film those. And then on this side, I'm trying to dig out all the seam sealer along here. It's welded on, on the other side by the wheel well, but you can see the solid weld here. So same deal. I'm just going to cut that weld, grind it off, cut it, probably cut, just cut it, because I don't care if I waste this stuff because that's the old uh, heater channel. Alrighty. And then of course I'll cut those welds up there. Let's see if I can point to it. That weld there and that weld down there that I can see so far. There might be others. So what happens when I close the door is you can all I close it and then when I open it you can see it kind of like falls down a little bit and then you can see the gap up there. So I am going to jack up the um, 
pan underneath there and see if I can get that straightened out. And then I'm gonna weld in the um, support. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that jack under there so the door stays aligned until I am ready to, uh, until after I secure this side with reinforcements, when I weld in the reinforcements. So now I'm gonna go do the other side and uh, get started on making those reinforcements. Handle's a little hard to push over on this side. I have to figure out how to get oil in there. I thought I found a little hole, but it doesn't appear to have helped much. So if I go around the passenger side and open it from the inside, that usually indicates, like this one opens so lovely. So let's see how this works. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so we're good to go as far as that is concerned. Now I'm going to start making my, my uh, reinforcements. So I have that bolted into, uh, I believe that's the seat belt thingy, and I'm going to weld it up here, but first I'm going to put in some angle iron on the tube so we have a flat surface rather than a round surface. And as you can see, I smooshed that one down with a sledgehammer. And then I'm going to weld around there too. I'm not just going to keep it bolted. I'm going to weld around it as well because, you know, the bolts easily could just turn and I don't want that to happen. So, and then I'm thinking I would put reinforcements from the pan up to these these reinforcements so go from like from there to there some kind of bar like that to secure the pan to the reinforcement okay I'm gonna mark where I need to Clean off the anything on the metal, such as paint. Like that. And then I need this area cleaned. And this area cleaned. And this area cleaned. All right. All right, I have this uh, angle iron up there collecting dust, so I'm going to harvest it. Oh, 
least not want not, I always say. See if I can make this side look any better. Look at that beautiful weld. Oh my God. So it's very sturdy, but it looks like poop. This is kind of my first time ever welding. I did it in high school. And then I just did these spot welds on this side. So I'm gonna get better. I have faith in myself. So uh, now I'm gonna turn the voltage way down and try to 
connect it to the sheet metal. So that ought to be fun. Yay! There goes nothing. Just a tiny bit nerve wracking. Blowing holes in. I, I will probably blow some holes in my buggy. But that goes with the territory of trying to do this. So I'm going to be one with my mistakes. And I have welded a little before, like a teeny little bit. So it's actually my first time, but close enough. I think I could get the voltage up a little bit. Let me just keep trying this for a second. Well, that's good. I didn't put a hole in it. All right, let's just keep going. See what happens. Here's what the other side looks like. Also, like shit. But you know, I took the bolt off and I tried to break this weld and it wasn't moving. So I'm just gonna go with it. You know how it goes. Oh man. We'll find out if it doesn't work. I'll have to try again. That's the way it goes. All right. So now the plan is. To weld the angle iron there to the pan and to this. To try to keep the pan where it is because as soon as I let go of the jack, it's going to want to fall down. So I'm trying to keep that from happening. Um, so let's get that started. Dimes, man. <laughs> yeah, 
Ah, I'm getting better! Alright, now I need to lower the voltage for the sheet metal. Come on, you can do it, Bobo. Just put on the nose. Once you get the nose on, the rest is just makeup. I'm getting better. This is exciting. And these spot welds are good. There's this one. And that side. And then that one. Ow! Right there. I mean, it's better than the other ones. Ugh. I'll keep improving. I have faith in myself. for the safety patrol person. Busted through that one.
This might be a little overkill, but overkill is better than having to not do a good job, I think. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is put this in the seatbelt thingy, if I can get it in there. Yes, good. And then I'm gonna Here, probably. And go around here. Put on there. Probably overkill, as I said. <laughs> But who cares? Does anybody care? I don't think so. Okay. I just want it to support everything so this thing stays right where it's supposed to. Go get another one. I'm gonna do the uh, same on the other side. Okay, so door shuts nicely. Good gap. Everything's lovely. Now let's see if it stays that way when I take this jack off. to move. Oh. oh, a little bit out of whack. Let's come up closer here. Let's see, show it right there, how it goes. Blech. But it's better than nothing. All right, let's try the other side. Okay, so the door shuts beautifully. It opens beautifully. Let's see what happens. That worked really well. Let's go back to the other side and see if taking the jack off the driver's side would be anything for this side. Oh, maybe so. The body lines are lined up, so I think it's fine. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm real happy about that because now I can take out the hater channels and not worry about screwing things up. All right, peace out. Okay, so one of the big things you must make sure you do is that your doors close and align properly. So beautiful. You'll see that mine wasn't uh, doing that later in the video, so I did what I'm about to show you to remedy that problem. So, and you can see, I have to reach in because this door handle is really hard to open, but yeah, you know, gently it opens up, it's just lovely. Okay, so you brace the body because you do that before you replace 
these heater channels right here. So I did that, and then I thought, ooh, I wanna make sure my little fix it doesn't uh, get disturbed. I want those doors to stay where they're supposed to. So I weld it here to the pan. And again, from here down to the pan. That way everything is nice and stable. Now those of you who have restored bugs before will probably immediately see the problem. And that is that when you take the body off the bug, that means, or off the, off the chassis, it's coming off the pan. The pan stays on the chassis and the rest of the uh, body is lifted up and off. So obviously if I've welded the two together, I won't be able to do that. So that was a mistake. Now here's what I'm hoping is gonna be the happy accident. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld another piece in here just to the one side, like I'm gonna weld it maybe here and then not weld it over here and then cut along here and that way and drill a hole, a couple holes through here. So that way when I um, put the body back on the chassis, there'll be these really good alignment pins right here and I can just bolt it back to where it is right now. So I'm gonna do that on the next, all four of these connections. The other thing I did was I attached uh, ratcheting ties to the ceiling or roof and that might have helped. It might be overkill, I don't know. But it did fix the problem with the doors. So that's the happy accident that I've created this fabulous little method of making sure my doors always stay aligned. I think this is gonna work. All right, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to use quarter inch because I have a bazillion quarter inch by 20 nuts and bolts. And I have a bunch of extra quarter inch bits. That way I don't have to deal with dull bits. Not much worse than a dull bit, I always say.
Oh yeah, it's a, it's detached. Okay. Cool. And I think I'll do the same thing with this piece here. I'm going to bolt them back together and then I'm going to brace these pieces a little more uh, aggressively so they're nice and stable. This looks pretty good, I guess. Oops. Okay. Hands might be okay. If they aren't, I mean, like let's say this isn't good, I can replace that. I don't think I'll do pans for that. But I mean, since the rest of the pans are just super solid. I've been jumping around in there and putting all my weight on it. And nothing. Nothing. Not even a little cracking sound. <sighs> all right. I think I'm done for the day. I'll do the other side. The other side should be pretty easy because look, it is pretty much already detached from the pan. Not over there, right about there. It starts. <laughs>